This is the Kuttapalang mega site. It's the world's largest refugee camp and home to more than 400,000 people. Since August 2017, nearly 700,000 Rohingya people have been forced to flee Myanmar in what the United Nations is calling ethnic cleansing. That's equivalent to a doubling of the population of Washington, D.C. in an area half the size of the District of Columbia in less than six months. Only a few months ago, this area was covered in forest. Action Aid coordinates three zones of the camp from this office. Our team of Bangladeshi staff and Burmese volunteers works closely with the Rohingya refugees, making sure they know where they can get the support they need. They coordinate with other organizations and make sure people with the greatest need get help first. Women are at the center of our work. We are known for this expertise and provide a number of safe spaces for women within the camp. These are places where women get health support and counseling for the trauma they've been through and meet other women like in this embroidery group. Access to clean water and bathing areas are really important for health and hygiene. If you look around you now, you'll see a load of orange boxes, which are toilets, some of which have been provided by Action Aid, together with water pumps and bathrooms. Most houses in the camp are just like this one, where Sophia and Muhammad live with their four kids. The huts are built with bamboo and plastic tarpaulins. It's hard to breathe inside the huts. The air is so thick with smoke from wood fires used for cooking and keeping warm. Winter is around the corner and people need warm clothes. With so many people living so close together, the risk of disease outbreaks is high, especially when the rainy season arrives. For more information on how you can help, visit actionaidusa.org.